Hi, and welcome to yoga. Thank you for joining me today. Let's start in a comfortable seated posture. So if you need a blanket or a prop to sit up on, feel free to grab one. Uh, I'll grab a little a thin blanket. You can make it as thick as you need, so you can sit up nice and tall and find length through the spine. One. And I encourage you to use props if you need them, so have blocks and straps handy, blankets, pillows, anything you've got around the house. And then come to a comfortable seat. So we'll lift the flesh away from our sitting bones and find length up through the spine. We'll soften the shoulders. Relax them away from the ears and feel a little length in the spine. So crown of the head is lifting up nice and tall towards the sky. Retract your chin just slightly so it's your head is aligned above the spine. And let's close the eyes. We're going to take a couple minutes at the beginning of our practice to sort of ground ourselves into our bodies, try to drop out of your thinking mind, and just sit here. So allowing the eyes to be closed, the eyelids are nice and soft. Make sure that your jaw is relaxed by maybe parting your lips a little so that's nice and relaxed in the jaw. Just check your posture again, engaging the core just a little bit so that you're not sagging and rounding forward. Chest is open, shoulders are down and back, lifting through the spine. And just noticing how you're feeling right now, noticing if there are any areas of tension through the body. And just take a little inventory. So we're not trying to change anything right now. We're just noting how we feel. And then this is always optional for everybody, but if you'd like, you can set an intention or a dedication for your practice today. And that's just a nice way to sort of bring a little more meaning to our practice. So you might focus on alignment or your breath, or you might dedicate your practice to a friend or loved one or the world at large, <laughs> anything you like. And then we'll focus on the breath for just a couple minutes as we anchor that intention into our subconscious mind. So we're going to just allow ourselves to expand the breath. As we inhale through the nose, we feel the belly really expanding and opening, moving all the way up through the ribs and all the way into the chest and the clavicles. So a nice deep wave of inhale all the way up. And as you exhale, we reverse that wave as we bring the breath through the nostrils. And gently at the bottom, we'll squeeze the navel in just a little bit toward the spine. And then that should automatically allow the belly to reinflate with the next inhale. Taking a few deep yogic breaths, just like that, finding a sense of expansion with every inhale you take. And a little more spacious in the body, and with every exhale, we're just softening around that space we just created. So we're still maintaining that openness and just softening around it. So 
and slower, maybe slowing the breath down with each breath just a little bit. So we're trying to lengthen the inhale and the exhale with each round of breath in a comfortable way. Allowing ourselves to come into that rest and digest nervous system. Coming out of our sympathetic fight or flight response by slowing the breath. Another breath together, inhale completely. And exhale completely. There we go. Such a beautiful day. I've got my door open so you might hear some outside sounds. Hopefully not. Okay, let's breathe in again. And let's exhale. We're just going to bow the chin forward to the chest, stretching the back of the neck. And gently find a little movement side to side. So we'll let the breath guide us. We're going to inhale as we open to one side, exhale forward. Inhale to the other side. And exhale forward. Inhale open. Inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale, come to the first side again. Lifting through the sternum, ear is approximately over the shoulder, soften the shoulders, taking the opposite arm out to the side and flex the wrist. So we're pulling down and flexing the fingers up. So feeling that side of the neck, pull that shoulder down and away, and we pull the fingers back. Find a nice breath here. And then gently you're going to rotate the head. So you're going to look down over this bottom shoulder, and we're rotating. So we're not lifting and grabbing. We're keeping our chin in the same plane, and then rotating, looking up toward the sky, maybe a little bit, keep pulling that other shoulder down. And just notice how that changes the stretch. So let your breath guide you. Inhale up. Exhale down. Never work in pain. If anything hurts, don't do it. Take another breath here. Pulling those fingers back. Good. Release the head to center. Relax the arm. Rotate the wrist a couple of times. And reverse. Good. Relax the hand and drop the chin to the chest. Inhale to the second side. Check your sternum's lifted, ear over shoulder. Soften the shoulders, pull the opposite arms down. Draw the fingers up, flexing the fingers. Make sure this is nice and open and relaxed. And then begin to rotate the head. So gently look over the bottom shoulder. As you exhale, inhale as you turn the gaze up toward the ceiling and toward this arm. So we're kind of moving the head on an angle. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Keep pulling the fingers back. So let's take one more round. Good. Bring the nose to the center. Relax the hand and the wrist and make some circles, keeping the head flexed to the side. Reverse your circles. Excellent. Drop the chin to the chest. Inhale. Take the head upright. Soften the shoulders. Bring the hands by the side. We're going to squeeze the shoulders up. Create a little bit of tension. Deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to sigh it out and drop the shoulders. Inhale. Squeeze up. Tension and exhale, drop. One more time, squeeze, inhale, and relax, awesome. Shake the shoulders out a little bit. 
Let's shrug them up and down the back, open the chest. We're gonna inhale, reach one arm up, all the way up. Walk the other hand out to the side and fold. Reaching the ribs to the opposite side, pulling apart. So arm reaches one way, ribs reach the other. Chest is open, shoulders are stacked, breathe in. Good, we're gonna exhale, spill forward, turn your torso toward the floor, reach through the elbow and the side body as you pull across, sweep. And then inhale as you come up to the other side. And then again, set yourself up so you're reaching over and pulling the ribs back. Keep the neck supported. Don't drop your head. Keep the neck long. Good. Breathe into the side body. Inhale, and then we'll flow a little bit. Again, as you exhale, turn the torso down and pull across to the front. Inhale up. So now you're going to move with your breath at your pace. So you can go to a different pace than me. Exhale forward. Inhale, reach. So think of this as a little moving meditation with the breath. Finding a nice reach across and up. And then you're always like sort of filling out the motion. So we're not really stopping when we get somewhere, but just opening up with the breath. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Good. Let's do one more round. Lean to the waist and the hips a little bit. And reach up. Good. From this side, we're going to inhale, lift up tall and lower the arm. Let's shrug the shoulders here one more time. Squeeze up and back. Awesome. From here, let's switch the cross of the legs just so we're not stuck on one side. So this other leg in front will feel awkward. Make sure you're still nice and tall in your sitting bones. We're gonna slide the hands forward toward the shins and sit up nice and tall. So I want you to feel a little bit of lift in the chest as you drop the shoulders. And then we're gonna do some seated cat-cow. So we're gonna inhale, you're gonna pull the elbow, bend at the elbows and pull your chest through your shoulders. As you lift the sternum up, you're arching in the back a little bit and reaching up toward the sky with the chin. And then you're going to exhale and hollow the belly, round the chin to the chest, and round. And you're holding your legs to kind of get a little traction here for the shoulders to pull back. So inhale, rock forward, open and open the chest. So as you breathe in, exhale, round the back and spine. And you can shift on your sitting bones here, forward and back. Make sure you're not pinching anything in the low back as you rock forward. Good. Inhale up. Exhale back. Round. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. And exhale. Awesome. Come back to your seat. Good. And with this leg in the front, we're going to walk our hands forward and fold here. Relax the forehead to the floor. Soften your shoulders. Keep the sitting bones back. And then we're going to work the hips. So follow this front foot, big toe side. Walk your hands to that side. And relax. So feel a nice stretch in that front leg, hip. Take one more breath here. Good, inhale, come through center, walk your hands back. Take your hands behind you now and lift the chest, open up, lift. Exhale, relax. Switch the cross of your legs so we can get the other hip. Walk it forward again. Starting in the center, bow, hips are down. Good, inhale toward the front toe side again and relax the head and shoulders. Breathe into this front leg hip. Letting go of tension. Inhale, come through center. Walk your hands back. One more time. Take the hands behind you. Lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Open up. Good. And come back upright. 
Excellent. So we're gonna remove, I'm gonna remove my cushion, but I'm gonna keep it um, handy for my knees. <laughs> so we're gonna come, let's come onto all fours briefly. cushion you need for your knees. Don't be afraid to use stuff <laughs> if you need it. So coming onto all fours here, knees are under hips, hands are under shoulders. Cross the mat away from you. And then we're going to um, broaden the fingers on the mat as best you can. Inside of the elbow rotates forward. We're going to bend at the elbow. Keep your knees behind your hips just a touch. Bend at the elbow and plant your chest right between your hands. Come all the way down to awkward S pose. So my glutes are still lifted, my toes are down, hands are down, chest is down, and chin is down. And then let the legs slide out behind you, top of the feet toward the floor. Gently rock a little side to side on the hips here. Hands are right next to your chest. You're going to inhale for low cobra, pull the elbows back, pull the shoulders back, reach your heart forward. Neck is long and loose, looking out in front of you. Breathe into your belly here. Feet stay glued to the floor. You can even lift the hands here. You see that you're using the muscles of your back, so we're not pressing up. Inhale one more time. Good, releasing the hands down. Lower your chin. Good, tuck your toes. Push back over the hips here briefly with the toes tucked under to stretch your feet. Bottoms of your feet, let the forehead come to the ground. Arms stretch in front of you. Inhale, come to all fours. And then we'll tuck the toes under from here and slowly peel yourself to downward dog. Take your time, no rush, and pedal your feet. So pressing into the finger pads as well so you're not dumping into the wrist. Walk out your dog a little bit. And then take a nice slow stroll all the way up to the front of the mat. We'll come to standing forward fold. Measure about two fists between the feet. Hands touch down, so bend your knees as much as you need so the fingers reach down, forehead tucks toward the shin, shake your head out. Enjoy this. You can rest the torso on the thighs. And shake out a little bit. Breathe in and out. Okay, let the arms dangle in front of you. Shake out a little more. Find even weight on your feet, all four corners of your feet, and then we're going to tuck the tailbone and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time to stand. So take your time, roll yourself up, shrug your shoulders and open your chest at the top. We'll come into mountain pose. And then heavy suitcases in the hands, arms by the side. We'll do a couple half salutes here just to get the blood flowing and Moving a little bit more, inhale, reach back. So make sure your pelvis stays neutral here. Reach back, inhale, stretch up tall. Arms reach, you wanna feel this in the torso, shoulders are soft. Exhale, swan dive, hinge at your hips and bend your knees as much as you need to forward bend, forehead tuck. Inhale, as you lengthen yourself into flat back, so hands can come on the thighs and you bring your back parallel to the floor. Elbows pull back, chest is open. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time, arms dangled, chin tuck. All the way up, shrug your shoulders and open the chest, check your neutral pelvis. And then we'll inhale, reach behind you, lift up tall, deep breath in. Exhale, swan dive, soften the knees, forward bend. Forward tuck. Inhale, lengthen into flat back. So again, this is also kind of a moving meditation. You can take it at your pace. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up. Nice and slow, open the chest. Check your mountain pose, nice and sturdy, nice and open. Inhale, reach back, lift up. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold, empty your lungs. Inhale. Load up, flat back, exhale, bow. Roll it up, inhale. Little roll all the way to the top, open the chest. Awesome. 
So I'm going to come to the middle of my mat. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way for now. I might grab it again. Have it handy if you need it. So we're going to come to the middle of the mat. We're going to do a moon salutation because we just had a new moon. So I want to do a little moon salutation. So feet hip width, nice and tall, open the chest. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up here. Deep breath in, and then we're going to grab a wrist and reach up and over to the side. Keep the side open, feet nice and even, lift up out of the spine. Good, inhale through center, grab the other wrist, reach up and over. So think length rather than bend, reach. Good, inhale up, exhale, lower the arms by the side. Take the hands to the heart in prayer pose. Step your feet apart. Lower the arms by the side. And we're gonna take um, the arms out, five-pointed star. Feet are forward, soften your shoulders, spread the arms out. Good, and then we're gonna turn one foot to the front of the mat. So you can mirror me or whatever you wanna do. Back foot angles forward, just we'll do both sides. So stay with me, soften the shoulders. We're nice and tall here. Good, and then from here, we're gonna keep our legs nice and straight. Inhale, grow tall. And then send your hips to the back of the mat. So whichever foot is forward, send your hips the other direction. And we're going to try to stay in this plane for triangle pose. You're going to gaze to the front fingers. Breathe in. Exhale, you're going to reach, reach, reach over to the side as far as you can without shifting your hips out of alignment. And then just let the front hand fall anywhere it lands on the leg. Top arm can stretch up or stay behind the back, whatever you like. Open your chest. So we're trying to not collapse forward, opening, lifting, growing tall on the top arm. See if you can find length through the side body you're bending toward. Find your breath. Keep attention in the back foot. And the gaze can be up to the side or to the floor. Just don't drop the head. Keep the neck supported. Good. One breath here. Let's breathe in together. Take that top arm behind you in a big circle. And then we're gonna turn our torso over the front leg. Soften this front knee a little bit. And you can turn your back foot up on an angle a little bit. Pyramid pose here. So we're gonna straighten this leg a little bit. Don't let it lock, keep it soft. And then take the hands behind the back, clasp the hands and pull the arms back so your chest is nice and open. Now our hips are squaring to the front. Pull this front hip back toward the back of the mat as you lengthen the heart forward. You may not need to go far before you feel an intense stretch in that hamstring, so you can take it wherever you want. And then maybe you come forward a little bit further. You can bow the head. Keep attention in that back foot. That back foot's nice and grounded, so don't lose that contact. Again, wherever you want to be. I'm having a little weird stuff in this left hip, so I'm going to back out a little bit. Not sure what's happening there, but I want to be uh, gentle with myself, as should you. And then let's take another breath. Good. We're going to soften that knee as we release the hands, and we're going to frame that foot now with our hands. You're going to slide your back foot back. This might be where you grab your blanket if you need it. Drop the back knee. Uncurl the back toes. Alignment heel is above, I'm sorry, knee is above heel. We're going to inhale, lift the chest and scissor the legs a little bit toward the midline. So open, create some space here. Breathe in and then inhale, come up. So we're scissoring the legs toward the midline, adding the arms if you're comfortable with the balance. Open the chest. Lift up. Don't sink back. Lift up. Getting a nice stretch in the back hip flexor. Good. From here, exhale. We're going to float the hands down to frame this foot. From here, you're going to walk your hands and your hip back. And you're going to draw the front toes up to the face for half monkey. Pulling this front leg sitting bone to the back as you lengthen the heart forward. Create some space. You can use blocks here if you want. 
breathe and soften into that hamstring. Good. One more thing over here. We're going to open into the IT band a little bit. Breathe in. And then you're going to exhale as you turn your pinky toward the floor. So opening that leg out to the side a little bit. And breathe in that. Inhale, let's take that foot back to the center. Inhale up. And exhale, walk your hands forward, plant the foot. Tuck the toes under and lift the back knee. Pivot the back foot down. Walk your hands around to the center as you pivot that other foot in. So now we're in a wide-legged standing forward fold. We're going to aim the toes to the corners of the mat and crab walk. So we're going to bend one knee, the first side, bend that first side, walk your hands over. Stretching this other leg straight and long, keep the foot grounded. If this hurts anything, don't do it or modify if you need. Keeping this leg bent, knee open. Breathe here. Inhale as you walk through center, straighten that bent leg and bend the straight leg to the other side. So walking the hands over. Again, stretching this leg, feet are flat, knees are open, knee is open. Keep breathing. Let's inhale. Let's make this another moving meditation. Inhale to center. Exhale to the first side. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's take it one more time side to side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come to center. Bringing the hands under your shoulders. If you need blocks here, please use them. So you want your spine long. You don't want to be rounding to reach the floor. So a couple ways to do that is use blocks or take your feet closer um, together so the spine um, is longer. So we don't want to round, basically what I'm trying to say. So whatever stance works for you and use props if you need. Okay, so here we are, wide-legged fold. Spine is long, neck is long, looking on the floor. Feet are nice and firm. Take a breath here as you lengthen the spine. We're gonna take a nice easy twist, plant one hand in front of your face. Inhale, pull the other arm up like a bow and arrow and twist on your spine. So nice and long in the spine here. Gaze can be down to the side or up. Again, support the head. Breathe here. Good, exhale, lower that top arm, replace it where the bottom hand was, and inhale, pull up through the other side, twist. Breathe. Awesome, exhale, come down. Bring your hands again wide, hands under shoulders, lengthen the spine. Now we're gonna turn our second foot, so we're turning to the other side of the mat, now open that foot, and walk your hands over to frame the foot. Turn the back heel up. We'll drop the back knee. Use a cushion if you need. So now we're facing the other direction. Knees stacked above the heels. Those are the legs as you're ready to come up. Adjust this back leg if you need, forward or back. Inhale, sweep up. Lifting up. Soften your shoulders, soften your face. Nice balance. And breath. One more breath here. Exhale, pull the hands to frame the front foot. We'll walk it back again, draw the toes up. Hands back, hips back. Open your chest, lifting up. Front leg, sitting bone pulls toward the back of the mat as you lengthen the heart forward and breathe. Might have some puppy visitors. Uh oh, maybe not. Good. Breathing into that hamstring, keep softening. Life doesn't have to be totally straight. Inhale. And let's exhale. Let's drop the pinky toe side toward the floor, stretching into that IT band side a little bit more. Breathe. Okay. 
Inhale, turn that leg toward the uh, back up to center. Breathe in. Walk the hands forward as you plant the foot. Exhale. Good. Tuck your back toes under as you lift the knee. You're going to step the back foot up and plant it down on an angle. Lift up. And then come, you can have this front knee a little bit bent as you as you come up. So we're gonna grab again behind the back, and this time place the other fingers on top so it feels awkward for pyramid pose on this side. Check your foot alignment, make sure you're in a good, comfortable stance. Begin to straighten that leg, but don't block the knee. Square the shoulders and the hips, pull back, open the chest. Starting here, and then maybe you come forward, exhale. Maybe not. Softening with the breath, grounding firmly in both feet. Deep breathing. Good, you're gonna pull the hands back, inhale, come up halfway, release the hands down, and then turn to triangle pose. So open the hips, front hand comes to the front leg, top arm stretches up, maybe or maybe it stays down behind the back. And feel free to adjust if you need to come up and come into triangle the way we did the first time you can. That feels better. Do whatever you need. We'll feet in triangle, breathe. Keeping that back foot grounded, lifting up. Long through both sides of the torso. Neck is supported no matter where the gaze is, head is supported. One more breath here. And we're going to use this top arm and the side of our torso to lift up. Inhale, back up. Awesome. Turn that front foot, that back foot in. Five-pointed star again. Lower the arms by the side. Heel toe the feet together. Come back to the center. We'll do a little variation on the other side and we'll move a little faster through the next round. But if you need to take it slower, feel free. So starting in our mountain pose, inhale, reach back, sweep up, lift up tall. Let's grab a wrist, reach up and over. Inhale, center, switch sides, grab a wrist, reach up and over. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the arms by the side. Let's shrug the shoulders here and open the chest. Good, step the feet wide apart. Adding the arms. Pulling apart, five-point star, breathe. Turn your second foot. Now we're gonna start the other direction. So we're going this way now. I'm gonna reverse it. Off shoulders, lengthen through the spine, breathe in. Shift your hips to the back of your mat, reach, reach, reach to the front. Tip your torso when you're ready, triangle pose. This side, breathe in. Grounding firmly in both feet, lengthen. Chest is open. Use a block here too if you need, totally fine. Let's Take that top arm, inhale, pull it all the way back behind you. Again, we're gonna turn the torso over the front leg. We're gonna step our back foot up a little bit this time, place it on an angle, reach back behind you, pull the hands back, lengthen, square your shoulders and your hips. We're gonna bend this front knee now, so it's nice and aligned in the right angle, so knee is above the heel, lift back, inhale, and then exhale, round forward. So you're gonna come to the inside of that bent knee and maybe the arms reach up and over, maybe not. Keeping the back foot on the ground, humble warrior. One more breath. Pull the hands down if they're lifted. Reach back, come on up. Release the hands, sweep it up for a brief warrior. One here, lift up. Good, 
Good. Exhale. Float the hands down to frame the foot. Slide the back foot and drop the knee and curl the toes. Back to our crescent lunge. Scissor the legs and rise up when you're ready. Add the arms. Sweep up. Good. Lifting up. One more breath here. Exhale, take your hands to your heart in prayer position. Thumbs to sternum. Lift up, grow tall. We're going to twist. Exhale, twist toward the front knee side. Pardon my back. And you're just twisting on your shoulder, on your spine, and maybe open the arms out. Or if you want more of a challenge, you'll bring the elbow outside of the thigh and press the thumbs to the sternum to twist here. Totally up to you. Take one more breath. Good, reach back through center, inhale up. Exhale, float the hands down, frame the foot. We'll tuck the back toes and lift the heel. Pivot the foot down, walk your hands through center. Pivot the other foot in. Aim the toes to the corners of the mat. Good, actually turn your feet in here, sorry. We're gonna um, bring the hands under the shoulders, feet are parallel now, take one hand at a time to the waist. And inhale, hinge yourself up slowly. Coming to stand. Turn your heels in and your toes out. Soften the shoulders, relax. Make sure your pelvis is nice and neutral here. We're gonna bend the knees. Coming into a squat, open the knees out. Goddess pose. So rolling the thighs out, don't let the knees collapse and you should be able to see your big toe your peripheral vision. Add the arms, cactus arms when you're ready. Lots of strength here in the goddess. Try to keep your spine straight. Try not to arch in the pelvis. See if you can keep your pelvis neutral. Nice. Good, breathe in. We'll flow a little bit. Exhale, forearm to thigh, reach up and over. Extend the arm. Inhale through center. Exhale, reach to the other side. Inhale, center. And if you need a break or you need to come up out of this a little, that's fine. Exhale, reach. Listen to your body. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. We have one more round. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come to center. Take a breath here in the guts. Lower the arms, Woo, straighten the legs. Nice job. We're gonna turn the feet in again. Take the hands behind your back now and support your sacrum with your hands, palms on the back, thumbs around the waist. Elbows draw back, keep your pelvis neutral. Lift the sternum to the sky as you inhale. And as you exhale, hinge at the hip and lengthen over the legs, flat back here and then release one hand at a time to the floor. Keep the spine long. Maybe take your feet out wider. If you're less flexible, you wanna take a little bit of a wider stance to so get closer to the floor. If you're more flexible, your feet will be closer together. Let's take a breath here. Awesome, now we're gonna turn the other foot to the back of the mat. So we're gonna switch sides, walk your hands over. Turn your back heel up, check alignment, knee over heel, drop the back knee, uncurl the toes. Switching sides, scissor your legs and rise up when you're ready. Add the arms, inhale, lift. You can use a cushion here again under the knee if you need. Good, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the hands to the heart, prayer pose. Inhale as you grow tall first. Exhale as you twist on the spine, keep the shoulders in line with the hips to start. Open the arms wide, hold up a wall. More of a challenge, you'll keep the hands together, hook the elbow outside of the knee, press the hands to the heart. Whichever variation you prefer, 
take one more breath. Inhale, sweep up back through center. Unwind your twist. Exhale, float the hands to frame the foot. Tuck your back toes under and lift the knee. Again, step your back foot up and plant it on an angle and lengthen. So we're going to reach up, grab the hands behind you again, clasp the opposite hand this time, lengthen, soft knee in the front. So bend that knee to power up a little bit. And then open the chest here. We're going to bend that knee so it's right above our heel, keeping the back foot grounded and on an angle. So we're still squaring up. Breathe in. Lift the sternum. Exhale, bow. Bring the shoulder inside of that knee. And reach the arms up and overhead if you want, if it's comfortable. Soften with your breath. Keep attention in the back foot. Pull the hands back and lift up. Releasing the arms, sweep them up. Three, four, your one. Soft shoulder. Good. Lower the arms as you straighten the leg. Turn your hips to the long edge of the mat, adding the arms. Pull out, send your hips to the back of the mat, look to the front, reach long, reach, 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 tip the torso, triangle pose on this side, open the chest. Beautiful. You can turn the gaze up to the side or down, head is supported. Breathe length through both sides of your torso. One more breath. And then again, we're going to use that top arm and that torso to inhale, lift up. Stretch the arms out, turn that foot in, five pointed star. Nice work. Good. Lower the arms by the side and heel, toe the feet back to center. And just shake it out a little bit. shoulders. And then let's do a balance together. So we'll do, uh, let's do the tree. So starting in mountain pose, feet are about a hip width apart. You're going to fix your gaze anywhere on the floor that's not going to move. <clears throat> um, some tricks, fix your gaze, keep the breath moving, envision roots growing down from the soles of the feet starting in a nice firm mountain pose. So once you've fixed your gaze, you're going to shift your weight to whichever leg you're going to start on. I'm going to start on this side of my standing leg. So I'm going to make sure I micro bend my knee joint. I'm not locking the leg. Once I feel steady, I'm going to keep my breath moving as I talk a million miles an hour, and then bring the sole of the foot to the ankle with the toe down to the calf or to the thigh, whatever works for you. Just don't use your knee. Press the leg and the foot into the midline so you're feeling that dynamic energy pulling into the center and then bring the hands to your heart. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna reach your arms up. Keep your shoulders soft. You can have your arms out if you want, a little more stability, whatever you like. Practicing our balance. Find your breath. And if you fall out, don't worry about it. Just try again. Shoulders are relaxed. Face is soft. Breath is nice and smooth. Let's breathe in. And slowly bring your hands back to your heart, releasing the foot from the leg and shake it out. Excellent. So let's try the other side. So we're going to shift the weight again. Make sure you're nice and sturdy in your mountain pose. Pelvis is engaged. Shoulders are grounded. Fix your gaze. 
And then again, shifting the weight and using the ankle, the calf, or the thigh, not your knee. Find that attention to the midline as you pull in and up. Bring the hands to the heart. And reach your arms up when you're ready. Another thing with the tree we want to do is keep this knee open so we're not pull, pointing it forward. We're nice and open here to the front plane of our body. And breathe. Soft shoulders, soft face. Length and openness in our tree. Tree might move a little bit in the wind, and that's fine. It might fall over, and that's fine too. Breathe in. And slowly take your hands to your heart. Good, release the foot. Nice work and shake it out. So I think the best, the most important thing with balance is to practice. So it's different every day, so don't worry about it. If it's challenging, it's good just to practice. So we're gonna come now to the front of the mat and we're gonna come down through a squat. Now, if this is challenging for you, you can place something under your heels so you have a little support and you can always just come down. You don't have to come down into a squat. So I'm gonna let my feet spill off the sides. I have kitties asking for dinner. Soften your shoulders, reach your arms out and slowly lower. So you can keep your spine straight as you lower your hips. And then bring your hands toward your heart in prayer pose, elbows inside the leg and lift through the sternum. Finding your breath. And then let's slowly come down. So reach the hands behind you and lower your glutes to the floor. We're going to stretch our legs out in front of us. <clears throat> and soften the knees a little bit here. So we're going to keep our heels glued to the floor, hands on the thighs, and I'm going to tuck my chin and lower down using my core strength to lower me to the floor. So the slower you go, the harder this will be. We want a little more of a challenge. The kitty show outside. Inhale slowly down all the way to your back. Okay, once you get to your back, fixing myself on the mat so you guys can see me. Feet come to the floor and just take a deep breath in and out. Maybe wiggle the hips around a little bit, massage the low back. Gently rock a little side to side. Good. And then we'll bring the feet to center. Walk your heels in towards your glutes a little bit. Keep your knees parallel. Back is on the floor. So there should be a little space behind your back, lower back, and your neck. If your neck is lifted and you're really crunched up in the back of the neck, place something under your head so you can elongate the neck. Good, and then from here, we're gonna cross one ankle on top of one thigh. We're gonna do figure four, and then we're gonna reach the same arm as the top leg through the hole. So you might need a strap here if you have one or a towel. Connect behind this thigh. We're gonna relax that bottom leg, flex the top foot. And then I want you to think about making the head, keeping the head and shoulders relaxed as you pull this towards you. You can use the elbow to press the thigh away. And then I want you to think about kind of shifting, shimmying the hips on the floor, side to side a little bit. Keep the lower back down as you just shift, pull, like pull the leg out and then pull them in, shifting side to side a little bit. So you're getting a little push-pull action with the legs so you can feel a shift in the hip stretch. Breathing through your nose, maybe close your eyes. I'm ready to relax in a minute. Good. Just one more breath. Good, and then release the hands. Let the legs go down. And take your arms out to a T. The legs are still crossed here. Walk your 
bottom foot out a little bit and then let both legs fall toward the top knee side. So your leg is still hooked. So we're stretching here a little bit. Let's take the opposite arm up and breathe into our belly. Returning the arm to a T, you can unhook the legs and bring them back upright. Maybe shimmy them side to side, windshield wiper the knees. And then bring them back up. Walk your heels in again. Second side, cross the other ankle on top. Same arm as the top leg comes through the hole to connect behind the thigh, soften that leg, flex the top foot. Pull that unit towards your chest. Push the elbow out if you have room. You might not, that's okay. And then we'll just shimmy side to side. You get a little push pull with the legs as you breathe into that hip. Nice deep breaths. Letting go of any tension in the hip. Heard my bird clock, and then release the legs, send the foot to the floor again, walk that foot out a little further, let the legs fall to the top knee side, and then stretch the other arm up. You can take this arm out to a T, breathe into your belly. Breath. We're going to take the arm to a T, unlock the leg, take the legs upright, let's windshield wiper our legs again, side to side, one more time. Bring the legs up, draw them into your chest, hold on to your shins, squeeze the knees in, and just make some circles on your back. Take it in the other direction. Good. Squeeze the knees in, lower the feet to the floor, and then check in with yourself. Walk your feet out. You can let the knees fall to the center. If you have any tension in the back at all, maybe there's one last posture that you want to take before we relax. So totally fine to do that. Time. Rock that head a little side to side if you're getting ready to relax with me now. Good. And then maybe the legs feel okay. You might stretch them out all the way. Whatever feels better for you and your back. Let the feet flop out to the sides. Slide back a little bit. The feet flop out. Let's tuck the shoulders under the chest to open the heart. Let the palms face up. Allow the fingers to curl toward the palms. They relax. Gently one more time, rock the head side to side. And bringing the head to stillness at the center of your mat. Close your eyes and part your lips slightly to relax your jaw. And bring awareness to your breath. It moves in and out of the nose nice and freely. Nice and relaxed. Scanning your body. You guys will stay on the floor while I roll up. So scanning your body for any areas of tension that might be remaining. Surround that tension with the breath on your inhale. And on your exhale, just melt it away from the body. Let it go. Relax completely. So we'll just be here for a couple of minutes. If you can stay longer, I encourage you to do that. But for now, let's just relax 
and let everything go. Feeling your body melting into the earth. Feeling everything just release. Relax. 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 And we'll slowly begin to wiggle our fingers and our toes. And gently rock your head a little bit side to side. Bringing awareness back into your body. And slowly, as you feel ready, we'll bend the knees to place the feet on the floor if they're not already there. And gently roll onto the right side of your body, coming to a fetal posture. You can make a pillow with the arms or the hands. And just taking a moment to notice any changes in body and mind. Recall any intention or dedication you may have set for your practice. And slowly, you're going to use your left hand to push yourself back to a comfortable seat. We'll meet in easy pose, sitting up nice and tall. Connected to the breath. Let's sweep the arms up together. We're going to inhale, sweep up, gather some energy with the breath. Inhale deeply. Connect your hands at the top and lower them down to your heart. And bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing today. And we'll bow to each other. Namaste.